This fireplace is the glory of this building by the 17th century woodcarver Grinling Gibbons. If you look at the carving, you'll find dead birds, dead fruit, all sorts of dead things carved into it. And they surround a picture of an unknown sitter. If you look at it, it seems to look back wherever you are in the room. And there are several people here who don't like being in this room alone with it at night. After all that talk of death, this chair is also blood soaked. It was used by Judge Jeffreys during the bloody assize when King James II sent down the judge to the West Country in order to punish rebels who had risen against him. Over 300 Somerset men died bloody and horrible deaths as a result. It's really quite a blood-stained thing. Now this gallery is called the Haunted Gallery. The reason it's called that is because we occasionally see an apparition, possibly a monk. On this site, in the Middle Ages, there was a monastery. And we think that he's somebody left over from those days. Another somewhat disturbing story about this gallery is that 100 years ago, a senior member of staff disappeared when coming up here. Nobody knew what happened to him, and he was never seen again. He disappeared, searching for the lost room. Somewhere within the building, there is this room, a forgotten room. That reminds me, I've got a really interesting quote. Abbeys and castles and ancient halls of Great Britain. Now that has a lovely quote. Wow, this place is so old. So boring. Wow, did you did, did you see that? Well, I think it is. Anyway, this place gives me the creeps. I like it. I don't know. It's a bit... Uh, boring. Clave, Monacus, Liberato. Clave, Monacus, Liberato. Clave, Monacus, Liberato.
What's the matter, Zell? You look as though you've seen the monk or something. Quick, he's coming! He's only Mr. B, son. What's the matter? You're gonna get us busted. 